Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Boost, a creation by Michael Bar Eli. Author Michael Bar Eli draws upon his extensive experience with elite athletes to delve into the transformative effects of sports psychology in his book, Boost, 2017. Through valuable lessons learned over the years, Bar Eli not only demonstrates how athletes can harness psychology to their benefit, but also how this vital element can elevate the performance of team players in any setting, be it on the field or in the workplace. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Michael Bar Eli, a psychologist with over 35 years of experience, has honed his expertise in professional sports and high-pressure organizations. He has successfully provided consultation for esteemed sports teams globally, including the German and Israeli Olympic teams. Presently, Bar Eli serves as a professor at Ben Gurion University of the Negev in Israel. With seven key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book. On storyplane.net. To start, learn how to apply sports psychology to your life. The principles of sports psychology can benefit anyone, not just Olympic athletes. The book explains how these principles can be applied to basketball teams, workplace teams, and even individuals. It provides reliable and beneficial methods to improve performance, with examples from history. It also offers techniques for improving performance and morale in the office. Examples include how a backwards high jump teaches innovation, a soccer team that proves friendship is not necessary for success, and the power of an active imagination. Key idea number one, setting specific goals can boost motivation and productivity. In 1971, the author faced a challenging basic training in the Israeli military. Motivated by the threat of punishment, he set a specific goal to keep up with faster runners. This specific goal allowed him to plan, focus, and measure his progress, leading to success in the official race. The experience taught him the importance of specific goals in achieving desired outcomes. He also emphasizes the use of specific short-term goals to build towards long-term goals, citing the example of Olympic swimmer John Neighbor, who successfully used this strategy to break a world record. Key idea number two, boosting players' self-confidence and expectations can lead to improved results for leaders. The ancient myth of Pygmalion illustrates the concept of a self-fulfilling prophecy, where strong belief in a desired outcome can make it come true. This idea applies to athletic performance as well, as player expectations greatly impact their performance. Boosting self-confidence is an effective way to change these expectations. Self-confidence can be improved through vicarious experience, where seeing others succeed increases one's confidence, and through first-hand experience, where having success in related situations builds confidence. A real-life example is the legendary basketball coach Ralph Klein, who boosted his team's self-confidence by falsely telling them they had the best defense, leading to improved performance and even reaching the championship game. Key idea number three, innovation involves testing unconventional ideas. In 1968, Richard Douglas Fosbury revolutionized high jump at the Olympics with his new technique, the Fosbury flop. This unorthodox approach was met with skepticism but proved successful, leading to its adoption worldwide. Fosbury's innovation followed a pattern of problem solving, unexpected solutions, refinement through practice, and sharing the idea. Unconventional ideas often lead to great creativity and innovation. Key idea number four, successful teams are cohesive. In 2004, German coach Heiner Brand credited his team's success to their cohesion, which refers to both social and task cohesion. Social cohesion involves healthy relationships and bonds between teammates, while task cohesion is about a shared commitment to a common goal. Brand's handball team overcame setbacks through their strong social bonds, while the Bayern Munich soccer team achieved success through task cohesion, despite not being socially cohesive. 
A good leader can enhance a team's chances of winning by fostering common goals and strong personal bonds. Key idea number five. Clear hierarchical structure is important for effective teams. Franz Beckenbauer was a highly respected soccer player and captain of the German national team. He played as an attacking sweeper, often leaving his defensive position open. His teammate, Hans-Georg Schwarzenbeck, filled that position and embraced his role as Beckenbauer's shadow man. This teamwork highlights the importance of clear team hierarchies and roles. Without clear leadership and structure, confusion and conflict can arise. Two common hierarchical structures are the traditional vertical pyramid and the more modern flat structure. The vertical structure is best for larger teams, providing clear reporting lines. The flat structure fosters a sense of camaraderie, but is more suitable for smaller, less complex teams. Key idea number six. Effective leaders possess three key traits. Humility, a commitment to continuous improvement, and flexibility in their approach. The key qualities of a great leader include adaptability and the ability to provide clear instructions in different situations. Humility is also important to earn respect and trust from teammates. Leaders should provide constant feedback and positive reinforcement to help teammates improve their performance. Additionally, leaders should view failure as a learning opportunity and use it to motivate themselves and others. Key idea number seven. Visualizing a task through detailed imagination can lead to improved performance. Recent studies have shown that imagination and visualization can be powerful tools to improve performance and reach goals. To make visualization effective, it's important to be detailed and focus on sensory details. When visualizing, focus on the process and actions rather than the outcome. Pistol. Pete Maravich, a basketball player, would look away when shooting three-pointers to focus on his technique rather than the outcome. Remember to focus on what you can control and let go once you've done your part. In conclusion, the psychological tools and strategies used by elite athletes can also be applied to achieving better results in work. These methods involve setting effective goals, creating healthy self-confidence and managing teams for better cohesion. These tools can be learned and developed like any skill. A key piece of advice is to create a mental toolbox of relaxation tools to maintain optimal levels of stimulation and prevent excessive stress. It is important to find the relaxation techniques that work best for you through trial and error, such as finding a relaxing word, thought, image or colour and practising deep breathing. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.